Let's begin with a short introduction to the differences between single and double opt-in, which you need to know about when working with email marketing. Did you know that this video is part of a free MailChimp for Beginners online course? Go to wpexplainer.com to take the full course in a learning enhanced environment and get a personalized certificate at completion. Now back to the video. So single opt-in is the most simple setup. Your subscriber enters the information, they click subscribe and they subscribe right away. On the other hand, double opt-in makes it more difficult, you could say, because when the user clicks subscribe, they send a verification email, which they need to click on before they're subscribed. So single opt-in, it's very easy for everyone to use. Whereas with double opt-in, you're sure to get more committed subscribers. Now there are advantages and issues for each setup. Single opt-in is not legal everywhere, and MailChimp recommends that if you're under the GDPR rules in Europe, then you should be using double opt-in instead of single opt-in. Now the issue with double opt-in is, according to MailChimp, that 61% never verify. So they do sign up, but they never get to find the verification email, they never click on it, something happens in the process and they aren't subscribed. The other issue with single opt-in is that anyone can go in and subscribe anyone to your list. And if that happens, they can report you as spam since they haven't signed up, which will hurt your deliverability of your emails, meaning that it will become more difficult to avoid the spam filters in the future. On the other hand, with double opt-in, it's safe to use. No one can subscribe anyone to your list. Only people themselves can do it because they need to verify that they actually subscribed. I'm not telling you what's right and wrong here. It's up to you to make an informed decision. And I hope that I've helped clear things up a little bit. Now, what you need to know is that when you've created a new MailChimp account, then single opt-in is turned on as standard so if you want double opt-in, you need to go into the settings and activate it. So uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we are back in MailChimp and we want to find the double opt-in settings. So we'll click on sign up forms. Then we'll click on settings here and go to audience name and defaults. And here you can see we have the form settings where we can check on enable doubled opt-in. You can also enable recapture if you want. It's just for extra security. I don't want that because it just creates an extra step, which makes it more likely that people won't get around to subscribing. While you're at it, you can also update your campaign defaults. For example, I don't want my first name to show here. I want my company name to be shown in the from name on my email campaigns. Now, if you want, you can also send a final welcome email. This is a final email they will get after clicking the confirmation email. This can be a good way to assure people that they are finally subscribed to your list. Now, I don't feel that it's necessary, so I'll keep this unchecked. We can always go ahead and check it later if we want to enable that. Okay, so I'll just save the settings. And now let's just quickly run over the emails for the double opt-in. So we can go to sign up forms, the form builder. And here we can look at the confirmation thank you page. And you can see here we can update the text. We can also update the text here to whatever we feel makes more sense for our business. Another important option to be mindful about is that you can paste in a URL here to show your own custom thank you page to your subscribers. So you could, for example, make a page on your own website and link this in here instead. 
I hope this gave a good intro to single versus double up then. I'll see you in the next video.